Okay, so here we are on Earth. Well, you knew that already. Um, we have a mission, very simple one, to do a polar orbit, which is kind of easy. You know, 615 kilometers and 640 kilometers. This is super specific, so we're going to need to get really, really accurate on this orbit. So the first thing we want to do is actually just kind of warp time ahead. The rocket is already on the launch pad. And we just want to warp time ahead until we get pretty close. Pretty close, pretty close. We don't want to get right under it because the Earth is going to keep moving. And... Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's give that a shot. Okay, so this is the Klushino 1. Uh, it's a new craft, and you may notice that I'm using the new upgraded parts that I have. Um, not that I unlocked them, but that I installed them because they were missing from my previous install. And this is, you would notice, just a very, very simple two-stage rocket with some sort of secret payload that we'll get to later. But this rocket actually has more than 1100 Delta V and it's not very big and it's only got two stages. This rocket is awesome. It's really, really good and we're still pretty early on in development. So hopefully uh, we can get some serious efficiency out of this one. What I want to do with this specific rocket is just kind of do all sorts of low earth orbit missions, uh, communication satellites, ge geostationary orbit, things like that. I'm pretty sure this thing can go to the moon and beyond, uh, but I'm going to keep it to low earth orbit and just launch maybe heavier things. This payload is actually pretty heavy and we'll see that in a little bit. So throttle up, SAS is on and let's just get rid of these. I missed a mark for my whatever okay so what we want to do here is we're going on a polar orbit um do we want to go north or south i forget we want to go south okay here we go so three two one engines on and throttle up let's go i love this escape tower it's great So after a pretty slow start, I've only got about 1.4 SLT, which is okay, because this thing is going to be with us for a while. This thing is an LR87 booster engine, technically, but I'm using it as a main sustainer engine. Um, it's good. This this design is going to work just fine. All right, we want to go south, south, south. There we go. All right, let's start our gravity turn, although it's not technically, well, it is a gravity turn. We're just not getting any help from Earth's rotation. And the reason I say this is, well, you probably already know this, but uh, the Earth rotates to the east, right? You know that, but that means that everything on the Earth, including the atmosphere, is also rotating to the east. And this is why rockets launch to the east, because they use this rotation, this air, that also moves to the east to help push them along and it makes it easier to get into space. When you go into a polar orbit, you're not getting any of that. Okay, so this engine is the LR-105. This is actually a sustainer engine. It's supposed to be a main engine for uh, an Atlas rocket, for example, something with uh, boosters, but I'm using it as a second stage. It's actually pretty efficient and look, it's got more than 4,000 uh, meters per second left um, on this burn. So it's actually pretty good. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get us where we want to go. All right, ditch the fairings. And this is uh, my probe. It's a Pioneer 5, which has its own electric power. Um, it's got solar panels. I even have extra solar panels down here. And basically what this... Um, what this contract required is that I have a film return camera on this thing, which, oh, I forgot to take photographs. Ah, well, let's take one now. Um, yeah, these are actually great, except you can't do anything with them. 
Um, can I transfer it somewhere? Can I transfer it here? Nope. Uh, yeah, I can't transfer this anywhere. Except maybe I can use ship manifest. Let's see. Uh, science. From film return camera. Nope. I don't think I can... Oh, there we go. Transfer film return camera to uh, the Delta package. Can I, can I transfer this? Yeah, I don't think I can transfer anything right now. Okay, let's get rid of... <gasps> no, we didn't decouple. No. Well, that's an epic fail. Let's see if maybe I can burn. Okay. Um I don't think wow. It's not why isn't this working? Oh boy, I should have tested more. Haven't I? Um this is not working for some reason. Oh, oh what? Oh, because I didn't okay. Stage it. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Let's settle the fuel. There we go. We did decouple. Okay, terrific. Let's turn RCS off, and let's light this engine. All right, here we go. Now we want to get to orbit. Let's uh, deploy the solar panels. There we go. Okay, so let's just fix our orbit, and I think we're good. I think this is going to work. I only have... Hmm, 22 more. I think that's okay. Yeah, because we're almost to orbit now. So this is an AJ-10. And it's the mid-series, which means it has unlimited restarts, which is terrific. It's exactly what we want, because we want to make our orbit very, very accurate. We're going to need a couple of burns to fix this orbit. So what I'm going to do right now is get my EPO apps to uh, 615 kilometers, which is our target height. And when we get to our Apple apps, I'm going to fix the Perry apps. So here we go. Almost, 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 almost. Okay, that's a little too much, but that's good. Let's use RCS to fix this. Let's use RCS to... Oh, no connection. Okay, that's fine. So this is where we're at. And you can see this is... This is pretty good. Oh, yeah. This is very good. Okay, so let's wait until we get connection back. Hopefully very soon. No ground stations anywhere? There we go. All right, we have a signal. So let's fix this. Um, actually, I don't want to fix it now. I think I'll fix it on the next run. So let's make our maneuver. And basically what we want to do at Epo Apps, or maybe this would be better. We have a one degree separation. That's, that's fine. So we want to take that and get as close as we can to our target orbit. Okay, so this isn't super accurate, but it's pretty close. Uh, the idea here is to get at least one of these very, very close, and that's what we're going to do. So, okay, we only need 126 more meters per second. So let's let's go there. We have, This thing has 1,600 meters per second. So, yeah, we're obviously very... Oh, you know what? Let's see if we can get some polar signs while we're up here. I don't think I have any scanning abilities yet. Nope. We're over the poles. Telemetry analysis. Nice. 
no usable comms devices. Oh, balls. Yeah, we could just fast forward this a little bit. Nothing too interesting here. Just getting a little bit of science. Just a little bit more sense. So yeah, I probably should have brought more scientific uh, instrumentation on this thing. But, you know, live and learn. Okay. So, let's... Oh, crud. I forgot that I might not have a signal here. Well, that's annoying. Signal, signal, signal. There we go. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can salvage this. Okay, let's... Rotate properly, get ourselves nice and aligned, burn. Okay, how are we doing? Epoaps 631, periaps is 570. Um, that's not bad. Wait, did I get it? First polar orbit. Oh yeah, I got that. Okay, and I still don't have the designated orbit for this. Okay, so this is pretty close yeah so you're not gonna sit here and just watch me tweak this orbit um, two different burns every time I have to wait until I get to the proper position this takes forever I'm fast forwarding right now at eight times regular speed just so you see how tedious this task was um, you know just every time I align myself to the exact point if I need a descending node if I need the periaps whatever I don't remember exactly what I did in this part and frankly it's not that interesting so I'm just rushing through this I think I'm just gonna cut to the final burn uh, and because really there's nothing you haven't seen here a hundred times already okay here we go 10 seconds five and engage okay stop yes we did it so we're 614 by 613, almost, and it's good. Now we just got to maintain stability for another couple seconds. We did it! Great! So that was two missions that we did. Just a general polar orbit and a super, super specific polar orbit with... I haven't showed you this too much. With a film return camera, which is pretty cool. Not super useful. Nope, not at all, um, because it's got, uh, you need to actually return it, or at least be able to um, take the photos out and put them somewhere that you can collect either with a scientist or um, by dropping it back to Earth. So what I'm going to do now is leave this top satellite in this orbit, we're going to keep it here, and I'm going to try to actually return the film return camera. I have a couple of parachutes on this, you may have noticed, and we still have plenty of Delta V on this engine, so hopefully it should be good. We might be able to do it. Let me, you know, I, I already completed the mission, so obviously there's not much I need to do here anyway, but let's see if we can return it just for fun. All right, here we go. Um, definitely keep your solar panels open. So this is the Pioneer 5. Um, and it's going to stay here forever. Bye-bye. All right. You. Let's deorbit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, step right up, step right up, and place your votes in the comments below. What do you think? Is this little craft going to survive re-entry. It does not have a heat shield. It wasn't really designed to re-enter. It has a ton of Delta V, um, which should be able to slow down the descent. But is it enough? Um, so, I don't know. It's actually the first time I'm asking you guys to do this. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe play along. Uh, place your bets in the comments. See what you think. Is this going to survive? This sort of craft can easily survive re-entry in the stock game, but let's just see what happens. Okay. Whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm thinking that didn't work. 
Nope. It didn't. Oh well, it was worth a shot. I guess if I want to recover things going orbital velocity, I'm going to need a heat shield. Okay, so that was pretty great, actually. Uh, you know, we, we spent some time building this thing, and, you know, we're starting to get up, to move our head with our science projects. Um, let's see, can I upgrade science a little more? Let's get a couple more funds for science. More and more R&D. I want to get this out of the way as soon as possible. That didn't look like it actually did anything. Oh, well. So, yeah, we're going to get more contracts. We're going to do more simple missions until we start unlocking bigger and better rockets and technology and things like that and i think we're going to be seeing this rocket that we've uh, just used already um what was that the clashino clashino and yeah we're going to be seeing it more doing all sorts of earth-based missions and yeah so Okay, thanks for watching, and I hope you like this special mission that I did here, and I'll catch you in the next one.